everyone, we're going to use implicit differentiation to find the derivative of y with respect to x at a given point. And our point is pi divided by 4, comma, pi divided by 4. So like the 45 degrees there. Our equation is x sine of y plus y sine of x equals pi divided by 2 square root of 2. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. We're going to differentiate this. So we have to use the product rule. So just copy down your x times derivative of sine of y, which is cosine of y, and this is times derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, plus um, derivative of x is 1, and then times sine of y. So that's this first part. Now let's do the second part. Same thing. Um, write down your y times derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. Since that's differentiating the x, we don't have to do anything. All right, plus um, copy down your sine of x times the derivative of y, which is 1. So that's 1 times derivative of y with respect to x. So anytime we took the derivative of y, uh, we actually put dy dx. The derivative of x was actually dx divided by dx. That equals 1, so that's why we didn't do it. And also the derivative of this is just the constant, is 0. Now with this one, what we want to do is go ahead and plug in our points. So uh, both our x and y are pi divided by 4, so let's plug that in. So we have pi divided by 4 times cosine of pi divided by 4 times dy dx plus sine of pi divided by 4 plus pi divided by 4 times cosine of pi divided by 4 plus sine of pi divided by 4 times dy dx equals 0. Now let's go and evaluate our uh, values here. We have pi divided by 4 and cosine of pi divided by 4 square root of 2 divided by 2. Now let's do it this way, dy dx plus square root of 2 divided by 2 plus uh, pi divided by 4 times square root of 2 divided by 2 plus square root of 2 divided by 2 uh, times dy dx equals 0. Now we want to group things together. So I hope you're writing stacks. I'm going to go to the next page here, but I'm going to group these two together. So this is going to be here is going to be pi square root of 2 divided by 8 plus square root of 2 divided by 2 dy dx. So I just added that. I'm going to subtract these two on the other side. So this is minus square root of 2 divided by 2 minus um, pi square root of 2 divided by 8. Now I'm going to get the common denominator and write this as um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the dy dx to dy dx, and we have pi square root of 2 divided by 8, and then before we had square root of 2 divided by 2. So I want to make this with the 8. So it's going to be 4 square root of 2 equals negative square root of 2 divided by 2, and I want to make this, and let's go ahead and write it out minus pi square root of 2 divided by 8. I want an 8 here, so I'm going to change this to uh, 8, just like I have here. So 4 square root of 2 divided by 8. All right, um, now I'm going to divide both sides by this. So basically, what you're going to do is divide both sides by this. I'm going to, uh, for this one, I'm going to pull out a negative so that would be 4 square root of 2 divided by 8 plus pi square root of 2 divided by 8. 
So when I rewrite this, I'm going to write derivative of y with respect to x equals my numerator here, negative 4 square root of 2 plus pi square root of 2 divided by 8. Put it all over 8. Now, when you divide by this, it means you flip it. And what we're going to do is instead of uh, dividing, we're going to multiply. So when you multiply, you flip this around. So it's going to be 8 divided by uh, pi square root of 2 plus 4 square root of 2. Now, this cancels out. They're all like terms. And this whole thing here just equals 1. So you have negative 1 equals dy dx. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.